How to enable and disable your stall detection function. For this process, we use the P2 button on the back of the remote control, the down button, and then the down button again. So as this function is already set up with the stall detection on them as factory, if you want to disable that function or enable the function, we can just go through this process to, it's exactly the same process of the P2 down and down um, to enable it or disable it. It's currently set up on stall detection at the moment, but we can remove that. Uh, by doing that, we press the P2 button, which we should get one jog, one beep. We press the down button, we'll get one jog, one beep, and then we'll press the down button again, and we'll get one jog and one long beep. So we'll do that now, we'll disable it. So P2, one jog, one beep, press the down button, one jog, one beep, and then the down button again for one jog and one long beep. The function now has been disabled. So if we want to enable this function back in again, we do exactly the same process. We'll just end up on the very last down press button, we'll end up with two jogs, three beeps, but we'll run through that right now. So press the P2 button for one jog, one beep. Press the down button for one jog, one beep. And now down button again for two jogs and three beeps. Now the store function should be out.